So, welcome everybody to our sessions on the AK Reporter. We got uh, frequently a couple of questions regarding union reporting, activity reports, the use of references formulas. So, in order to capture that, uh, what we want to go through today is build a activity report. From the activities, of course, in Sugar CRM, nice, but from a reporting perspective, challenging is it's different modules, so stored in different tables. So, you cannot just do a simple report. That would not work, and those are the problems Sugar CRM always faces. But we can capture it with the key reporter. So what I'm going to do is start a new report. Uh, in order to do that, I call it the activity report. So I start again from calls. So I will do the first a simple report on calls. So I want to take over the user afterwards is the ID. Uh, I want to take over the subject. And then I have my report this time. I don't have the status. I don't have the assigned user. Okay, user. And I want to select using a certain date range. So I want to select using the range of the start date. I'll take that over and say, okay, the start date should be within the last 10 days based on the count and the 50. We want to make this user editable, so the user can edit that. In the presentation layer, we want to sort by the start date. So I'm going to presentation is okay, so descending. And here we want to make a link. I think we only make this nice afterwards. Save it. Let's look at it. So what we have gotten is, okay, pretty much what we expected. Uh, the start date, the status, the username. You can save that. Then we have done the option. Uh, it is okay. If you filter that at the last 20 days, because of these changes, it is okay. If you did the last 100 days, and it's also fine. Okay, what well, I want to do is, it's okay. I want to add more modules. So, trick number one I have to do because I want to differentiate, and I cannot. I have another fixed view, which I call type. Let me say fixed and say the fixed value is close. Pause. So this is nice. So we have that. And that we want to add union modules. So to the calls now I'm going to add meetings. So we have the meeting. And okay, also the meeting has an ID. Come like that. The meeting is a subject. To the subject. The meeting is a start date. I'm going to move to the start date. Meeting is a status. I'm going to move the status, the meeting is an assigned user, which is a username, go on a dead to the username, and for a time, you know, the fixed values, meetings. So, the next topic we are facing is we want to filter the meetings, of course, also based on the start date, and say, you now we want to link the two operators. What I can do, of course, is I can make a Select so the value, I will say in the last n days count, so it's as a 50, and say we allow user to do this. If I save now, that's my nice report, I get first of all calls and meetings together. So we see what is meeting, what is it called, that was the uh, sense of the type. But the problem in our case is I have two operators. If I want to say, okay, I only have both speed up by 10 days. I need to enter this for each type, of course you can also rename those, that is a little bit more easy, but that is not what we want. So in order to do that, you can use the selection reference. Reference allows us to link selection criteria across human joints. So first of all, we still stay on our main module, and you can see that we have this lovely field of reference. Where I simply can type it in here, you can type in whatever you want, it's your own. Uh, interpretation, how you're going to call it, I call it date range. And what I can do if I go to the union modules, go to meetings, select criteria, I can choose an operator, which the uh, top one is reference, and I call it date range. And do not allow the editing. And now it's uh, save. You can see there's only one field, and now if I change that, say 10, this is applied to both 
some meetings are filtered by 10 days and also the calls are filtered by 10 days. So the topic of reference, <coughs> we find it once and then we use it and also if you change it, if you use this selection criteria multiple times, even if it's not user but but static, it's a very nice option to do. Okay. The last thing we want to do is add tasks. So then we complete our report and say, okay, after the tasks, the same, we map the ID, drag that over, the task with the subject, we map the subject, now for the date, we now take the new date, okay, we map that, it's also the status, we map it to the status, the task has an assigned user, we can use a name, so we make the username. And if we want to type these tasks, oops. Brilliant. And then we do, again, the due date now, we take this filter. And again, use the reference operator. We call it the date range. Save. Print, tasks are in there as well. Filter, and then I say, okay, task is the next, the last 10 days. This means more or less an overview list. Uh, if you can do that, it's applied and filtered to all these things. So now what we want to do is say, okay, we have this nice field ID. If I click on that, let's see, I should come to the task. That's right. If I go here, I should come to the meeting. That's right. So properly interpreted. What I want to do now is I want to use a formula to replace this wonderful, unmeaningful string with an icon corresponding uh, to the thing. So a module, more or less, so type we have here. So in order to do that, um, I use the formulas and uh, the stores. Store means I can store a value from a record to use it afterwards in So I call this the module. It's just name you type. And then I can say, okay, go into the formula editor and do some calculation or whatever. What's important to understand, the custom function is done on the SQL layer. The formula is done on the selected record within PHP on the application server. So different topics you can achieve. And one of the nice things with a little bit of a dirty app here, um, you can also, of course, call certain sugar functions or do whatever you want. Be careful. You can ruin everything, so that's the important thing to understand. But what we want to do is basically go on the call sugar scene registry, and there's a nice function that is called get image. So we want to get an image back, an image URL, and especially for the module and for the classification, we need to add ng at the back. So we type it for a a little bit of PHP code. You could easily do calculations. The plus minus is very easy. Uh, this is the variable on the record, so basically the volume coming out of the store. Um, this is uh, the PHP code in this data. So in our case, call sugar scene registry, get the image. The other thing you can do if you need certain sequences, so for example, you could assign this to another store, you can define a sequence. This is just an American interpretation on how you interpret that. Topic would be, for example, you do an image here and you do it here. And so you need to first run this one because afterward that value is all written. So it's logically calculating the sequence. Okay, let's save it and see what happens. So, wonderful, as expected. We're replacing that with an image. So the type now we can hide. That is nice. Save this. In the layout. So now we see a task, a meeting, a call, so we get the little icons uh, which we wanted. And then if we click, there's a link behind it, and so we can go right to the call that is in there. Okay, so I think a little bit of explanation how to handle union report, um, how to handle the reference, especially in the, uh, the sense of uh, a union report, and also how to use uh, the formulas behind. So I think you can see this was a wonderful example on what you can do. There's many important things you can offer from there. Okay, thank you.